This poem is inspired by a comment that my grandmother made way back in the 1970s. She and Grandpa were taking my father and his brothers to the Los Angeles Zoo back in the 70s, and as they were loading their cameras with black and white and color film, my grandmother said that she didn't want him wasting any of the color film on zebras. And for some reason, that comment stuck with my father for decades and inspired the following poem. Your mother doesn't want you wasting color film on zebras. Feel free to spend your film on boulders mistaken for Galapagos tortoises, the fleshy eclipse of a thumb obscuring a monkey, the anonymous neck of a giraffe decapitated by the viewfinder, or the pigeons pecking your trail of dropped popcorn, even though we can see them at the corner park for free. Color film is for the pink haze of a flamingo across the lagoon, in a distant flamboyance, the captured yawn of a tiger remembered as a roar. But most of all, do not waste your color film on zebras. They live in an impossible world of black and white contrast, defined binaries and geometries, a baby zebra imprints on her mother's stripes, memorizes the pattern, follows its map for life across the dusty savanna. Zookeepers can copy the stripes, paint them on t-shirts, and lead the baby zebra anywhere by the gravity of instinct. Do not trace the familiarity of my veins when you should be scribbling off paper. Zebras are born with a predestined ending, always after the xylophone, or x-ray. They always know their place in the taxonomy of all living beings, but it comes at the price of accepting. They're the untouched page in the coloring book.